Access denied. Damn it! What could they be hiding that they need to keep me out of the ship's mission logs? There's got to be a way through this firehole. Ah, sound wave. To what do I owe the pleasure? For. I need to know more about this war, so why am I locked out? I am a scientist. I need information on today's times. Megatron has restricted you to simply keep your mind on a single task. To complete production of the drone army. Unfortunately, there is too little time to explain what you've missed. Well, Megatron and I need to have a talk. If I can't get any of the answers to the questions I have, simply put, he doesn't get the army. Lord Megatron, prepare yourself. Jetfire may be realizing that all is not what it seems. Optimus, I want to apologize for my actions. I could have caused us a greater defeat. Bumblebee, you are a fine soldier and a great friend. But understand, we have to be able to rely on each other if we want to make it through this dire trial. I know, Prime. It's just... It's just been so hard. Cliff Jumper meant... Everything to me. We both shared a half of one spark. With him gone, I feel angry, alone, and incomplete. Bumblebee, you are not the only one who lost someone that day. Alpha and I were very close. He was like what David and Abby call a father to me. His loss is a gaping hole in my spark that may never be repaired. I understand. It's just that strong arm acts like she can replace Cliff. I don't think anyone could replace the bond I had with Megatron. But since the day the war started, I have only created stronger bonds with those around me. This war has been hard on us all. Losing loved ones, and not knowing what to do with the pain. But we are stronger now because we stick together and don't let it destroy us from within. Strongarm doesn't want to replace your brother. She only wishes to be as strong and close to the others as you. Or like you used to be. Give her a chance. She may be young, but she means well. Besides, we all need a friend by our side in our darkest hour. Speaking of the little scramblet at my side... <sighs> but you're right, Optimus. I'll give her another chance. Optimus, sir! These two have very urgent news to tell you. They say you might want to sit down. This ought to be good. David, Abby, what is it? Why do you look so afraid? Um, sir, I... I don't know how to explain this, but, um... David, you idiot, come on. It's not like he'll be mad. All right, all right. We think the military may have some of your technology. What do you mean? Are you telling us that they have the Allspark, David? Well, they're creating what they are calling drones, but they look a lot like you guys. I mean, frighteningly so. How could they do that? There's no way they could have our blueprints. Now, this is just a hunch, but I don't think the Allspark would be capable of giving them the ideas of building 20-foot robots. Me thinks that they found something else, or, to be more precise, someone else. Here's the step. 
The step? Optimus? You know something, don't you? If what I fear is true, then David, you need to take us there now. Optimus, I don't have the authority, much less the clearance to take you there. Are you sure we should reveal ourselves to the humans so soon? We don't have a choice, Springer. Autobots, I believe Jetfire is here for one reason, and that reason only. And what, pray tell, is that, Optimus? To guard the Fallen from being reactivated. The who? Jetfire! Who do I thank for your appearance? Megatron, I have grown concerned about a few things I've seen around here. And what are these certain things, my friend? Well, for starters, I can't get access to half the databases. I can't do my work without it. You were simply blocked for a short time after your reactivation. We don't want you to be overwhelmed, is all. Overwhelmed? With what? The war, Jetfire. This war has been tragic. It would be a lot to take in. Megatron? I remember why I was sent here. And what is that? The Primes, Megatron. The Primes. They sent me here to guard the Fallen's body. To keep anything or anyone from reactivating them. What? My body... It's on the disgusting dark planet below? Those foolish primes banished me to rust away with these pathetic insects. Megatron, you must find my remains. NOW! That is why I'm confused. Were they that corrupt? Why would they send me here to guard him if the Decepticons follow what he decrees? Jetfire, you fool. The primes that you worked for were more than just corrupt. Why else would they send you here? Now if you would, please tell me where. Where is my master's body? I never made it to him, Megatron. My ship was destroyed by pirates, and I had to abandon ship. By the time I got to Earth, I was low on energon and lost consciousness. The last thing I remember was floating in space and seeing the planet below. Then I saw you freeing me from the ice. I have no idea where the Fallen's remains are. Megatron? Why would you pull a weapon on your comrade? You are not my comrade. You are one of my soldiers, who will aid in the Decepticon's victory in this war, by conquering this world and Cybertron. The Fallen will be revived, and he will lead us to the peace that we have craved for so long. Conquering this planet? Cybertron? You've gone mad, Megatron! Maybe so, Jetfire. But you will not stop me. Starscream, bring this fool to the brig. Leave him there until he is ready to tell us where the Fallen is hidden. Soundwave, enough with your pets. The Fallen is on Earth. Find his body now. Of course, Lord Megatron. It will be done. Let him go. The Autobots won't accept him. He is no longer a Decepticon. And try as he might, he will never be an Autobot. Of course, mighty Megatron. Our resources should be put into finding the Fallen. We cannot let the Autobots fight him first. Mike, I've got a bit of a surprise for you. And what would that be, David? Did you sign the forms? <laughs> it's, uh, 
It's a, it's a lot bigger than that. Lord Megatron, I have found the Autobots. They are heading towards the human military base. Now, what's this news you wanted to tell me? Hey, David, did you finally propose to Trinity? I always liked that girl. Mom, no, no, I'm not quite ready for that yet, all right? Mike, can we step outside for a moment? What's this all about, son? I think I should let him tell you that. Who's him? Me. 